Today we're going to compare Atlas OS versus Revi OS and what I found out is actually insane. I put both of them in a direct comparison in terms of performance and also tested both in GPU and CPU bound games to figure out which one actually performed better. I've been using my mid-end PC with a Ryzen 7 5800X and an AMD RX 6500 XT and kept all the settings identical on both operating systems. And there were immediately some pretty obvious differences. Both operating systems were installed on a fresh Windows 11 Pro version with no additional settings and only OBS and a few tools installed which are of course fully deactivated for the benchmark. So keep in mind both are running exactly with the same hardware, same software and only their initial playbook to obviously launch the custom OS. And even with the same process count of 65 on both machines, Atlas OS was using 2.5 gigs of RAM where Revi OS was only using 1.8 gigs, which is a huge difference. Quick disclaimer, these are my personal tests which I did on my PC. I'm not saying that Revi OS is automatically better, you might have different results on your your hardware even. But this was very weird considering that both provided only 65 processors, even though the threads amount was a little bit lower again on Revi OS, but both performed fairly well considering that normal Windows 11 Pro would usually use 3.5 or even up to 3.8 gigs of RAM. Keep in mind guys, these custom operating systems make especially a huge difference on lower end hardware, so Revi OS actually did an insane job here. Because if you only have a low end laptop with 4 gigs of RAM, you want to keep the RAM usage as low as possible in idle mode. In terms of safety features, I kept of course Windows Defender on both operating systems and really just deactivated built-in Windows features I knew I would need. So both mainly removed bloatware on my PC, which worked perfectly fine on both. But I have to again admit that in my tests, Revi OS actually did a slightly better job at fully cleaning almost all unnecessarily pre-installed applications. The list was a lot smaller, even though during installation of both, I kept the Xbox app only and a few other features which I like to make both mainly focus on their main script or better said stuff you cannot configure. So I really want to see how much bloatware is getting like on stock deactivated. And here again, Revi OS did a better job than Atlas OS. But in terms of performance, both felt really snappy and responsive. Both have their unique style, Atlas OS of course with the blue layout and Revi OS with the red one. Both look really cool and give you this custom OS experience. And before we check out game benchmarks, I'm of course using their own custom power plant. On Revi OS, it was called Revision Ultra Performance, which apparently gives maximum CPU performance, enhanced GPU performance, which prioritizes maximum utilization of the GPU with especially GPU heavy tasks. They also claim it gives minimal latency since it most likely deactivates all of the C states on your CPU so it doesn't go into power savings mode and all the other performance enhancing modes. And on Atlas OS it does basically the same thing so keep in mind I'm not using a custom power profile but actually the delivered performance ones. And first of all let's actually begin with the GPU bound game. We have Mirror's Edge Catalyst. This is an amazing looking game from even 2016 which is kind of hard to believe because it looks so good, that's why I still love to use this as a benchmark. For these settings themselves, I was playing on 1080p with a mixture between high and ultra graphics because of course the RX 6500 XT isn't the highest ranked GPU. So what I did here is I just walked around the whole entire open world for a good 20 minutes and then I've checked what are the lows and what are the highs in terms of FPS. As a matter of fact, I actually kept the game bar open so that we can see the utilization of the GPU and CPU and what really shocked me guys on Atlas OS, we actually reached the 70 in terms of FPS. And on Revi OS, the lowest I've noticed was around 92. But also, they both had completely different RAM utilizations, which is really weird. And I really couldn't figure out what it was, so I kept on doing more and more benchmarks, and the stats were basically still the same. And it also gave me the feeling that the overall FPS was a lot higher on average on Revi OS. I'm just reporting what I measured on my PC, but to be fair, I've been running around in this open world for 20 minutes, and my FPS never even dropped in the 80s. So we can't safely say that the average FPS and lows are a lot better on Revi OS. Again, I installed the exact same AMD driver on both operating systems, I have the same Windows settings and just applied the power plan which was delivered with both of them. And next up of course guys, we checked out Fortnite which is a very popular CPU bound game. Here again, completely same Windows settings, same Fortnite settings, even on the same Fortnite map. And while just looking into the sky guys on the same exact map, I've seen a maximum FPS on Atlas OS of 712, where on the other side on Revi OS, I've seen 774. Also in terms of average FPS while free building, I can actually confirm that we dip more often into 500 FPS average on Revi OS instead of Atlas OS. It might have something to do with the power plan that is maybe even better optimized on Revi OS, but definitely those results speak for themselves. In both Mirror's Edge and Fortnite actually, we got better performance on Revi OS. It also had a way lower RAM utilization on idle mode, which means when you're using your PC in general that it uses a lot less RAM. So for the 
test which I did so far in this video, I can actually confirm that RevOS performed a little bit better. But here guys, again, quick disclaimer, these are only the results which I'm getting on my specific hardware. There are thousands of PC configurations out there which are possible, so therefore you might have completely different results. But for the sake of this video, I can definitely say that I would most likely recommend RevOS, depending on the results which I'm getting as of right now here. But you know what's also insane? Improving your ping for absolutely free. Try out Gear Booster for absolutely free. It's the number one gaming VPN supporting all of your favorite games. No matter what you're playing, you can lower your ping in every single one of these. Just simply select the game which you want to play and it's going to automatically search for the best DNS server in your near, making sure that you have the least amount of ping. And with the built-in packet loss protection service, you're going to have no more lag. As mentioned, try it out for absolutely free with the first link in the video description.